Hi, Emily. Thanks for joining me today. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, so we are, as I'm, my name is Adil and I work for Artists Open House and we started to do a video conversation with the open house artists and catching up how they're doing and what they're working on. Um, so I'm going to straight away start with your project, Vitamin C, and how the, um, what are the ideas behind the Vitamin C project exhibition and how did it come about? Um, Vitamin C came about when we had a great show in November with Urban Miniatures, a pop-up show, and we decided we wanted to do another miniature show in the summer month in Brighton to coincide with the Artists Open House and the Brighton Festival. Um, and Vitamin C came about for our love of the sea, our love of the beach, Brighton Beach, Brighton and Hove Beach, um, and the beach huts, they're so iconic, um, but they all do look quite similar. Um, except for the front doors. So we thought, well, why don't we let the artists do what they like, paint them however they like, transform them and, um, you know, make a fantasy hut that they could make for the future. <laughs> um, and we just thought it'd be a really fun project to um, engage lots of artists, over 35 artists, in fact, from the UK and Italy. Um, and yeah, get everybody painting. Just looking beautiful. I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm kind of, you're talking, I'm looking all the details on them, the doors and the colours, and it's just beautiful. Do you want to show so the, one of them into, yeah. This one in particular, um, these are jewellery makers called Tiny Scenic. Um, I think they're based in Winchester, and they've made tiny hut with the tiniest chair and a cocktail glass. Um, it even has a window in the side. Um, really well made, beautifully made and painted. Um, and then you have um, graffiti artist Remy Ruff who paints buildings around the world on a very large scale. So this was a, a challenge for him to build in miniature and paint in miniature. Um, but he enjoyed it and um, you know this is a really unique piece by him. Um, as his work's normally giant um, and on big walls. It's nice to see them in, in your house as well because it's sort of, um, I guess they were just ready for possibly an open house that it, it, if it's a, it, you know, if you were going ahead with the festival. Well, I, I could have, yeah, I could have hosted the open house here in my house, um, but we were hoping to have a pop-up show in Brighton, um, yet still be on the Artists Open House trail. Um, but have a pop-up somewhere where pe anyone could come. Um, as it turns out, I've had to do it in my house um, alongside Pam Glue, my business partner. Um, and we, together, we've been running it together online on our website, paxtonglue.com and Paxton Glue on Instagram. So it's been a virtual show um, where we hope to get it out there, um, you know, before the summer's over, really, if we can, if we can find somewhere. Yeah. Um, so I, I seen your last year show with Urban Miniatures as well. So I was wondering how Vitamin C related to your previous exhibition? Um, you know, the miniatures uh, were such a success last year in the winter, November, December, we did it with the Christmas um, Artist Open House Trail. Um, with the trains and the buildings from a Hornby train set being re reimagined and painted uh, by again, 35 plus artists. Um, and we just thought we wanted to do it again, but we wanted a summer vibe, a summer, um, a summer theme, and then we wanted to keep it in Brighton and the beach huts just seemed like the obvious choice. They're so iconic to Brighton uh, with all the colorful doors. Um, and we thought, well, what if we were allowed to paint them however we wanted? Um, and then we thought, well, we've got to send all the artists a hut. Um, so we designed, we got the flat pack hut designed um, in a flat pack form so we could send these out to all the artists um, so that's uh, so we sent them all a blank flat pack hut um, so it's a bit different from painting a Hornby train set <laughs> um, they had to paint their own build it and paint it so it's asking the artist to do a little bit more um, and we did intend before this whole the, the coronavirus hit to have a pop-up shop, shop with the Hornby train set in half of the gallery um, and then the beach huts in the other half, but have a more summer vibe rather than an urban vibe. Um, and we were gonna transform the train set into a more summery carnival vibe to go in, in line with the uh, Brighton Festival. But as it turns out, it's now just the, the beach huts exhibition 
um, and we're going to have a postcard exhibition as well. Um, many of the artists were sent postcards as well as beach huts to paint. So we've got that launching in a, in a week or so as well. I think that's the, the good thing of having a kit, I guess, isn't it? Because people can do their own beach huts as well, as well as they can buy one of these really beautiful ones as well. Um, do you think we will be able to see an actual version of the vitamin C exhibition in the future? I know things um, are a little bit uncertain at the moment, but... We are on the hunt for a space. Uh, we were looking for a pop-up space just before the lockdown. Um, and then this happened, so, you know, people couldn't even leave the houses, but now people can start, you know, starting to go out again. We are looking for maybe a window space that we can display them in over the summer, uh, where we don't have the man it, but people can still visit it. Um, we're still on a hunt for that. Hopefully we'll find somewhere um, where it's accessible, maybe on the beach, on the seafront. There's a, a, an empty window somewhere that you could just host, host it for a few weeks or so. Your space would be fantastic with some design, isn't it? With some sand or maybe just pebbles, more like a Brighton beach. But it, it's funny that I've been thinking when I, you know, just looking at your website about the vitamin C, all you can see beach huts. I thought that they in an actual beach hut. So perhaps it might be even nicer having a beach hut and then all these little beach oh. huts as well. And when people are walking down the sea, maybe they can kind of have a look. We yeah. have bit of projecting the pictures of the beach huts on a beach hut oh, um, okay. one at night so it can be like a social distance event and people can come down and watch them being projected um, as I've taken hundreds of pictures of these huts I've also made rotating gifts because the huts are really great on all sides not just the front so I've made these rotating gifts on our, on our Instagram um, and website um, we have thought about beach hut. We're still on the hunt for one. Uh, we have had an offer of, of a beach hut. Just got to look at the logistics of hosting it in a beach hut and the work being safe and people being safe coming there. So we are looking into that. It would be great if we can do that.